Welcome back, my friends. So let's continue working on this project. So in order to start working in for in order to start working, we need to install Laravel framework. So how are we gonna do that? So I'm inside laravel.com slash docs slash six point x installation, right? So this is your Bible here, and here from here now on, you need to refer to these documents. So I'm not gonna for example, I might be put the links as uh, resources, but instead of searching to resources and finding the links, you can just always Google it, laravel.com docs and choose the version you want. Now, at the moment, it's the 6 point something version. I think 6.13 or 40, I'm not sure. We're gonna check it in a minute. Now, there are a couple of ways to install. We can require via Laravel installer and you need to Composer global require Laravel installer, but after that we're gonna do need to do a couple of tweaks in the bin directory. So I'm not gonna do that, right? Because it's gonna every machine is different, and um, I don't want to make com uh, confuse you stuff like that. But we do have Composer, and we can install it like this. So what I want to do show you something else. So if you go here, if you search at Zam you will have Zam HD Docs folder and that if I click it's going me it, in my case is in this PC Windows C right it's in C Zam HD Docs now in here I'm just might might be here empty for you this one when there I don't know uh, but here we're gonna install our projects so we can navigate here with the CMD CD 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 Zam so I'm in C drive now Zam HD Docs, right? So I'm inside here, and if I click directories out, it will list all of this that is here. It will be here. So I'm just gonna clear it. By the way, I need to zoom in a little bit in order you to see it, right? Clear. Now, what we need to do is to install the, to install actually the Laravel. Now, to create our project, we're gonna use Composer. You can, by the way, co copy this one and put it there, but I'm just gonna type it, Composer, and create um, project. So here I will say, prefer this space Laravel slash Laravel and after that we need to specify the name of our project here be for example it will be intro right intro and also here you can put a version you want for example six it might in my case it meant be seven but you don't need to put it right now just I'm gonna show you and I'm just gonna click enter and I'm gonna pause this because it's gonna take a while and I'm gonna show you the output after that see so see it's already installing but I'm just gonna pause it right now the installation is complete, everything is successful, you should see this successfully. And this might be a little bit different in your place because if you're installing the latest version, it will be probably different. Now, if I go here in exam, hdocs, I see this folder entry, if I go inside, they're all project files that we just created from that project. So that's pretty much it. This is how you install. Now if I go PHP Artisan, for some reason I do have a problem here I need to restart I need to exit here and I need to go again to CMD so I'm just gonna zoom in CD CD again CD Zam HD Docs and I have the intro right so I'm inside intro and if I go now PHP artisan it should list all of the available commands we're gonna go through some of them just a short but this is what you should have and also what we can do here it is the options is version now let's check the out my current version PHP artisan dash dash version very good so I'm working in 6.14 Laravel framework and that's the version you might have seven you might have even bigger number but if I haven't updated the course I will update it but if you want to follow me with the same because you can follow me with the same uh, version number so how you can do this or even if you, if you want to install even the older version like 5. something 
you can easily do this so you say composer create oh uh, yeah I mean inside I'm just gonna go CD one more I'm just one step back and I want to be in HDocs. I don't want to be in the intro because I hit there the project will be created there so I don't want it so now I'm just gonna uh, say uh, composer create actually if I oh no composer create I want to use the up and arrow keys but I, because I restarted the CMD I will not be able so I will say prefer this and I will say Laravel Laravel and let's say intro one because I already have intro and I want to say in quote quotes six point six dot star and this if I hit it enter it should give create another fresh installation with the latest yeah here it is with the latest uh, Laravel framework right so this is how you can install any of other uh, for example if you want a 5.8 now let's do if you want a 5.8 I think so they, they have it included here somewhere so you click 5.8 and here it is even you can install 5.8 and I'm just gonna copy that one we are just gonna wait or I'm just gonna pause here it is it's installed right now if I go here I will have intro one if I go inside CD intro one and if I say PHP artisan version I will do have my version so this is how you can follow me you can install my version like that with six with using this one wait six dot star but for some I don't know if you seen you searching on the internet you find some solution uh, that's in older version and you want to test it this is how I'm just gonna go back CD again this is how I'm in HD docs now and I want to install 5.8 dot and that will install maybe 24 or 30 I don't know which what was the latest here version so it will create another project called block with the latest version and now if I hit enter and I'm just gonna pause it right here it is it's running but I'm gonna pause it just to see how to, not to waste your time now the installation is complete and if we go here I do have the block and now let's check it out let's go see the block inside and let's say PHP artisan version and it should give me here it is Laravel framework 5.836 right so this is how you can install old version and I'm showing you this because now you know how to install a new version current version with wait where was it oh I don't have it current version without this and also a version that for example it's it's gonna be six point and the latest one with for example to follow me because maybe in the Laravel 7 it will be uh, tons of different changes and you not be able to follow me or I need you need to wait me to update the course so that's pretty much it now if you want to follow me just do this if you don't want to follow me just hit check the latest one and see what's the changes now after that after this I'm going to go actually we need to we don't need this so I just need we don't need this too I'm just gonna delete this too and you should I'm just gonna go the intro and that's pretty much what we're gonna work okay maybe this one is making so try again so now um, here it is now we're gonna use intro and go here check out what's happening in the documentation and after that from next we will see what what we have installed in how we can load the application and stuff like that so thank you very much for following me I will also um, keep you updated if there are like uh, major major updates so you can't you need to do something else before after this right so thank you very much see you in the next lecture